Hey, good day, folks. I hope everybody's doing good today. I welcome you to another episode of Andrew's Life. Uh, welcome to Teller, Alabama, which is located in the southeastern region of Alabama. Uh, this this town is located only seven and a half miles. Uh, southwest of Dothan. So your closest metro area. Now I don't. Now on the now if you look at the census, although Dothan, Alabama, is not one of the major cities or major areas of the state of Alabama. I do believe that they count Dothan as a metro area. Dothan, Hillen, that that whole region, I mean that, that whole area of Alabama, I do believe does count as, Alabama does count as a metro. So with that being said, that's gonna be your closest, uh, largest city to here is Dothan. If you want to see footage of Dothan, I do have some Dothan videos on this channel, so feel free to watch them. And uh, the population here of Teller is going to be 2,262 people with a population decline of 4.8%. Now, they began to record the census here in 1970. And basically since the 1970s, the population here has been growing. The only year that the population has experienced a decline is during the 2020 census. Like even during 2010, the population was 23, what was 2,375 people with a 25.1% population growth. Which, by the way, is also the census year that the population of this town peaked, which is at 2,375 people. This is back during the last census of 2010. Now, during the census of 1980, if I can remember correctly, I think the population was about a thousand people or so. And on that year, the population increased by a whopping 476.4%. Now, uh, now typically when I do a video like this of a small town, that has a strong record for population growth. I typically would say that nine times out of 10, during the 2030 census, the population is gonna most likely grow again. Now in this case, I mean, I'm not as, you know, I would have to, you know, I mean, Given that here in Alabama, you you have, uh, I mean, I I mean, Alabama is a little different than Indiana when it comes to how these communities are set up. Now, there's a part of me that would predict that at, that that come the 2030 census, the population here might grow again. And then there's a part of me that says, yeah, you know, it might continue to shrink. Because I'm going to put it to you like this. I would say, I would say one dis, I mean, now granted, you're not far from Dothan. And uh, if you work in the medical field, there are a fair amount of jobs in the medical field to be had in Dothan. And they do, and there are some blue collar 
employment opportunities, along with white collar employment opportunities in Dothan. But, you know, Dothan being a smaller city, so to speak, I mean, when I say smaller city, it's smaller compared to your, it's smaller compared to, let's say, Montgomery or Birmingham or, uh, or even Mobile. And definitely compared to Huntsville. And although there are jobs in Dothan, Dothan doesn't have as many opportunities. I mean, there's not going to be as many opportunities in Southeast Alabama as there will be in other parts of Alabama. That's what, I, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. I mean, off the top of my head, I would say you go to Southwest Alabama, which that region is a little larger, and also that's where all your beaches are at. I would say in that region of Alabama, there's going to be a little more opportunity. Now, instead of Alabama, the bulk of your employment opportunities are going to be towards the north of, of the state. So, with Taylor being located in southeast Alabama, I mean, yeah, there's jobs here. I mean, yeah, there's jobs not far away, but I would say for starters, the pay is going to be lower. And secondly, although there's jobs available, you'll probably have to work a little harder looking for them. It might take you a tad bit longer to get on with the job that pays worth anything around here compared to other parts of Alabama. So if you're looking to, you know, if you're from out of town, you know, now, yes, I know it's April, it's getting, it's, it's warming up, it's getting nice, at least, uh, at least uh, here in the Midwest it is. However, if you're, you know, maybe you're looking to leave the Midwest, maybe you're looking to leave northern states and you're looking to live somewhere warmer, cheaper cost of living. Maybe you're looking to live somewhere where you can buy a house that sits on a sizable lot and you maybe you got a bit of a green thumb and you might want to plant some uh, fruits and vegetables. Now, if you're looking for that kind of a lifestyle, uh, I would say Taylor, Alabama it is good for that. And there's a lot of other small towns in Alabama that I have covered that will also be good for that. And there's more that I will be covering in the future. But for now, I would say if you're looking to live in Taylor, I mean, it could be a good place to live. It appears to be quiet. I mean, as you guys can see, everything is nice and green out here. I mean, your trees have leaves on it. Your grass is nice and green and plush. I mean, you know, up in Indiana, where I'm currently at. I mean, yeah, the grass is green, but you still have a lot of your trees that are still bare. They haven't filled out with the leaves yet. As we're down here, all your trees already filled out with leaves. Which I, you know, I enjoy looking at that. So yeah, I would say if you're gonna move to Taylor, just just keep in mind that they that just keep in mind that the economy here is gonna be a little slower than other parts of Alabama. Or two, if you work online, your work is remote. It could be a good place to reside if those are your, you know, if you work remotely. Yeah. And as far as it goes for rent, your median rent prices are six fifty to twelve hundred and ten dollars a month. If you're looking to purchase, your median home price is a hundred and forty eight thousand dollars, which you know it's not that bad. Now right now the cheapest house out here that's for sale is priced at seventy five thousand dollars. Now I will tell you, and this is one thing which I like about Alabama. Now most of the houses out here that are for sale 
are going to come on a minimum of a quarter of an acre lot so none of these houses are going to be like super close to each other you're not gonna your neighbor is not going to be sitting on top of you your lot sizes are going to be decent so that's something to take into consideration as well if you're looking to move here to, to taylor and just a tad bit of history about this town now taylor was first settled in in 1870 but it was not incorporated into a town until 1967. just a little bit of history for those of you that are interested now for those of you that may not be familiar with alabama and you think some of these rural parts of Alabama are, I don't know, I mean, <laughs> for, for those of you that are from the north and, and you know, you're running with that, with that sixth grade history education of the deep south and you assume that all these rural areas are going to be, you're going to just be driving and somebody wearing a white robe is going to just pop out out of nowhere and attack you you know i'm here to let you know that that's not going to be the case and with that being said let's look at some racial numbers now the racial demographics are going to be 79.4 percent white 11.9% black and 4.2% Hispanic and another thing that I want to point out is just a little bit of I guess you can say geography the majority of the black population in the United States actually reside down here in the deep south now am I'm saying that Alabama along with the deep south is perfect for black people not at all is there racism down here most definitely but there's racism all over the country I mean I don't care where you're at I don't care if you're in California uh, I don't care if you're in uh, New Jersey New York I don't care if you're anywhere throughout the Midwest or up north racism is everywhere it's all over this country it is what it is but again, for those of you that are running with that sixth grade logic of many parts of the deep south, you know, you, you know, if you're black and you're looking to leave the north and you're looking to move somewhere that's warmer, but at the same time affordable. Now there's been a growing number of black families and black couples I noticed on, on YouTube that have began a homestead channel because there's been a growing number of black households that have abandoned the idea of living in the city or the suburbs and they've decided to buy land like acres of land and, and, and start their own homestead and grow their own stuff and in some cases even uh, even I'll just say manufacture their own meats and there's a lot of rural places here in, in Alabama that are wonderful for that type of stuff and for whatever reason if you don't want to live in Alabama I mean you got places like this in Mississippi uh, you got places like this throughout uh, South Georgia but I'm in Alabama, so since this video is Taylor, Alabama, we're going to talk about Alabama. I just wanted to give you guys some examples of other places you can go and check out if for whatever reason you don't want to live in Alabama. And I've been in Alabama long enough to know that when it comes to the racial dynamics here, 
Is it perfect? No. But in my humble opinion, do I think it's really, do I think it's any worse than other parts of the country? I'm going to say no. Now, sometimes you got people out here that might be a little more obvious. They might be a little more in your face about it. But to me, rather people are more direct and in your face or they're kind of passive aggressive behind your back. To me, for those who are like that, the, you know, the mentality of, the, of those type of people are still the same. They feel the same way about you. It is what it is. Now, obviously, if you're non-black and you're not like that, you know, as they say, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. So I don't want a bunch of you people in the comment section accusing me of of uh, accusing white folks of being racist and 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 I'm just you know so yeah if you're listening to this video and you're white and you're you're not prejudiced you're not a bigot you're not a racist then I'm not talking to you so now that I made that clear if you're black and you're wanting to move to the south because maybe you can't afford to purchase land in let's say Arizona or maybe you don't desire to buy land somewhere out in the desert where it's going to be a lot harder to grow anything because of the climate out there maybe you prefer to buy land around here because the soil is a lot better and the climate is a lot better for growing produce as a black man myself, I'm just trying to let other black people know. Now, obviously, this video is for everybody, regardless of who you are. But just for a second, I'm going to address the black community because I think it's only fair that the black community understands that when it comes to living in the South, it's not the way it used to be back in the 50s and 60s. Now, it's safe to say that many black people are small enough to realize that, but there's a few that are probably from the north. And again, some of y'all are probably still running with that sixth grade history logic about the south. And you're afraid to come down here because you fear bad things are going to happen to you and your family. I'm here to let you all know, in most cases, that's not going to be the case. And again, I'm not saying bad things don't happen down here. I'm just saying in most cases, it's not going to happen. I mean, let's just be real. Bad things happen to black America all over the country. Let's be real. Let's not make it an issue of the South, but really it's an issue of the entire country. So with that being said, if you're black, and you're looking at moving down south, you're looking at moving to an area like this, nice plush land, room to plant some fruits and vegetables and eat fresh and eat a clean diet, nice sunny warm weather for the majority of the year. You don't have to worry about freezing in some blizzard. You don't have to worry about shoveling snow. Property taxes here are low. Housing prices are low compared to most other parts of the country. So if you're looking to move to Taylor, Alabama or a community similar to Taylor, don't be afraid. Come down here, check it out for yourself. You know, talk to some of the locals. Don't be afraid. I mean, because I would say for the most part, Nothing bad is going to happen to you down here. Don't be afraid. I mean, turn off CNN and come down here and check it out for yourself. I think many of you will come down here and you'll like it. You'll fall in love with the climate. You'll fall in love with what's out here. And, you'll, and you might want to come down here and make this your new home. And there's plenty of smaller towns throughout the South. 
I mean, not just in Alabama, but, you know, Mississippi, Georgia. And uh, that's about all I got to say. I don't really have any more to say. So come down here, check out Taylor, Alabama. And if you like what I say on this, if you like what you see on this channel, and you want to support my channel, all you got to do is give videos like this a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed at this point, I don't know what the hell you're thinking. You need to go ahead and subscribe right now. And on that note, stay blessed, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.